Pozo here is where he always sat, right up to this pose here. He had ten in his body. Now the card he stayed in was he took all five of our cards. He stayed in a queen's body. So I mean, you know, people act like that. And then every night he would go to Larry's bar, have a couple drinks, and go return to his room. Well, in the meantime, from there, after Larry's show, he comes in and joins Larry a little while, and he says, hey, big John, they ready to go to bed. He goes to bed real early. Yeah. So I told him that particularly evening, I said, well, don't forget tomorrow morning we have a date. You know, because your sensei, Mr. Uh, Ed Parker, called him, wanted me to continue the training that you've been doing. So he checked into he comes into the front desk. I was in the back of it. He goes, Hey, what is this guy, Big John? So Julene comes up the front my front desk. She looks at the prison and she says, Big John, he's here. So they thought that he was gonna come up and register there, but I changed the whole thing around. And made it so that, you know, he'll be out of the crowd here. Yeah. But um, just wanna let you guys know that they, they, he we would never stay later than maybe and pretty, you know. So I said, well, tomorrow we have a date at nine, nine o'clock. Say, so I'll meet you at the house in the farms. So I come down at nine o'clock, I put on my gi, I see the party over here sitting down. So I got a jog, so I took two laps around the ground, hoping to go. They came back, I said, I have a cocktail party here. So I'm waiting, waiting, I see these guys gigging and laughing, and I look at the watch. 9.15, I said, these guys, you don't know how to keep time. I give him to 9.30, he still sees it. He all over and goes to me, I said, well, good morning, Mr. Presley. Yeah, I talk, he says, uh, do you realize you have an appointment? He said, yeah, but he told me Hawaiians are always late. He said, well, these Hawaiians are never late. <laughs> I said, you know, I'm quite sure you like to keep up with your appointments. He said, I want to see you over there five minutes. So I went, and he went to his room, put on his gear, and he came. I said, yeah, hey, flash, you can yeah, you get all these fancy stuff all around there. So that's how we started, uh, and I started showing you know, to show him. The first thing he told me, he was a spa. And I said to myself, oh, I don't know about this guy, but Ed Parker told me on the phone. He said, you know, he's a pretty cocky boy, you know, you, you got to put him in his place. So I said, oh, okay. So too bad we can't go to, to, to the uh, house in the pond, but we have this refraction pool about two feet deep, and it's written in the... <coughs> In Hawaiian, the Hawaiian song, the Kumila Nui, in Hawaiian, which I put the, the, the uh, wedding all over the pool. So he comes up, he's on his rise, and he's jumping around. So he had these two fat guys that we don't go, but I didn't know it was his bodyguard. So I, I, I thought there was other going to throw him out. So I said, Oh, excuse me, Presley, but uh, you know these two guys are there with you? He said, Oh, yeah, they're my lifeguard. I said, You better put them on a diet, man. <laughs> they want some balloons. He tell me like this, you could tell me. So the one guy, cocky, you know, he comes up to me and says, you know, my friend, I don't want to disappoint you, but you know, I think in Hawaii it's called opu. You got a pretty big opu. You better get in shape when you give a door, you know, give you his bodyguard. He said nothing. So after they left, he told me, Alvin. He said, boy, that guy, you know, he don't pull no <laughs> He told me straight in the <laughs> So what I'm going to have you folks do is what he and I did. What I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to show what they call Jiu-Jitsu, because I just focus like in campus style. So in other words, this is all self-defense move, like an example. Okay. First of all, if a guy grabs you here, well, see with Jiu-Jitsu, when you do, you, all you have to do is just move this way and see what happens, you can't lock here. When you do this, yeah, you come in a jujitsu move. Okay. Now, one hand you grab here. Yeah. Same thing here. This way you go in here. When you go there, you just press down here, going down here. <coughs> and then all you see, this hand goes here. Then you can break here. Then here. And boom! Okay. When you're in this position, he's a big man, right? So. All you do is this here, see, and then you break here. Because with this guy, is quick and he's strong. If you don't hold the right way, he can counter you. You see, and he does. You see, oh, see how simple it is. It's just man, one little finger, the old 
and, and don't and try to strike me, okay? First question. Take it closer to get here. So all I want to do, no matter what I do to prepare myself, all I do is. <sighs> okay, anything else? Okay, I'll fight with the three steps. Number one, I'll follow the principles of providing courtesy. I'll follow the principles of providing courtesy. Number two, cultivate the spirit of effort. Cultivate the spirit of effort. Number three, perfect the mind of patience. Perfect, perfect the mind of patience. Number four, lead the way of truth. Lead, lead the, the way, way of truth. Number five, do not lose self control nor act in a violent manner. Do not lose self control or act in a violent manner. Give me that. Give me And love is shown among your friends or employees like that, you know, is is a wonderful feeling. But you never get that kind of moment as long as you live. So whatever it is that you have and you can give to other people, it's a lot of love in Aloha. And I believe in that. Mrs. G has always taught me that. And she always always to tell the guests, she says, as long as I know Big John is not a brother, I can sleep in peace, you know.